The Scripps Howard Foundation is proud to honor excellence in public service reporting with the Roy W. Howard Award. The winners, Patricia Callahan, Sam Rowe, and Michael Hawthorne of the Chicago Tribune for Playing With Fire. Did you know that the upholstered furniture in your home could be making you seriously ill? For years, manufacturers have packed toxic flame retardants into the foam cushions found in homes across America. Companies did this even though research shows that the chemicals, linked to cancer, developmental problems, and impaired fertility, don't slow fires and are migrating into the bodies of adults and children. That began to change in 2012 when the Chicago Tribune's investigative series, Playing with Fire, exposed how the chemical and tobacco industries waged a deceptive, decades-long campaign to promote the use of flame-retardant furniture as a way to downplay the hazards of smoking. To reveal the surprising role of the tobacco industry in the buildup of toxic chemicals in American homes, reporter Patricia Callahan sifted through the 13 million records cigarette companies made public after settling lawsuits. Reporter Sam Rowe exposed how chemical makers distorted scientific studies for their own purposes. And reporter Michael Hawthorne revealed how government regulators allowed flame retardants onto the market without thoroughly assessing health risks. Their work made flame retardants the top public health issue of the year. The U.S. Senate held two hearings. The Environmental Protection Agency began a broad investigation. And an industry front group exposed by the newspaper folded. Most significantly, manufacturers may soon stop adding the chemicals to furniture and baby products. Altogether, once the story was told in uh, this thoroughly, uh, it had amazing impact. We're supposed to hold the powerful accountable, right? And that's exactly what these folks did. It highlights how the media is the last line of defense or for, for some activities that take place um, in the world that really ought not to be. It was just an exceptional piece of work. Mary Pierce, a director of the E.W. Scripps Company, presents the Roy W. Howard Award for public service reporting and $10,000 to the Chicago Tribune, accepting his associate managing editor, George Papajohn. Thank you. Um, thank you to the Scripps Foundation uh, for this wonderful event and for all of you for the inspirational work that, you, uh, that, that you've demonstrated and that brought us all here today. So as we think about a project like this, we try and look back sometimes and say, well, where did it start? What did it spring from? And I think all the reporters, all the people who worked on it might have a different point of view. You might hear one say it sprang from the idea that we regulate chemicals in, in such a weak way ineffective way in this country. Somebody might say that it sprang from the tobacco documents that led us down the trail of deception. But for me, this series is about something, in some ways, something larger. Um, to me, this series is about an unwavering belief, <clears throat> an unwavering belief in journalism. Um, when you look back over the last five years at the Chicago Tribune, um, there's been a lot happening. You may be aware of it. You may have heard something about the things that have happened in Chicago and elsewhere. Uh, we've been through bankruptcy court for most of that time. Uh, our owners have made headlines. There have been antics that have made headlines. There's been crazy debt burdens, and uh, it's all played out uh, in a big way that at times has made it seem like the Chicago Tribune uh, had fallen on hard times. And maybe it had on the when it came to this debt and when it came to some of the financial ledgers. But in the newsroom, an amazing thing happened during that time period, and that was crystallization of purpose and of faith in what investigative journalism can accomplish. So to me, this project, which in fact took probably about two years, really is in some ways five years in the making. It's really the culmination of five years of faith in what a newspaper can do. And it's, um, it's really a testimony to investigative reporting and the many people in Chicago, the many investigative reporters who stayed in Chicago despite the bad publicity, despite wondering who the owners, what the, the current owners might do, what the future owners might do, when their next raise might occur, uh, they stuck with it. They didn't leave the profession. They had an unwavering belief. And so Playing With Fire to me is a tribute to the shared passion of those journalists who made it happen. Trish Callahan, who couldn't be here today, unfortunately, Sam Rowe, Mike Hawthorne, and Karen Tissue, who, are, who stand behind me. And I think it's also, clear evidence that the paper's heart, the, its public service mission, 
uh, beat stronger than ever. Um, as we're also aware that we might get new owners at some point, and uh, the ledgers I hear are being uh, open to the public uh, or open to a view uh, for a chosen few at some point in the near future. Um, I'm told that the balance sheets look good, and I have no reason to doubt that. But one thing I'm sure of, and that is that the greatest asset at the Chicago Tribune remains its wonderful, dedicated reporting staff and the investigative reporters, some of whom you see here today. So I thank them for their work, and I thank all of you.